and welcome to a video by Debbie Loves to Colour. In today's video I'm just going to do a quick review on the Castle Art coloured pencils. Um, I do believe that there is a lot of Arteza reviews out there on them pencils and not so many on the Castle Arts what I've been looking at so I thought I'd do my opinion on the pencils. These pencils, what I've got here, are the 120 Premium Coloured Pencils by Castle Art Supplies. These are from Amazon UK and 120 for just under £40, which in my opinion were a brilliant affordable price for a lot of variety of different colours. And as you can see, they just come in a thickish tin just got the image on the front and if you turn over they've just got a little colour palette there and then they've got the logo and that's as far as it goes and to open them you just basically have to pull it it's you just pull the tin open there isn't no there isn't no latches or anything I'm hoping you can see these You will have to excuse my setup. I've been I've um, I've been working today, and my setup's all over the place. Um, it's just now I'm getting darker. My lighting's not very good. I'm really going to have to think of a new setup and buy a, some better lighting for my videos. I have been working, so if you excuse the background, it might be a little bit bits and stuff where I've just been working on the color uh, some coloring that I've been doing back to the video so as you can see it just comes like this you've got your little leaflet you've got here a little logo by Castle Art Supplies and it's just telling you about their website that you can visit and I have used these pencils so I could do my review now here is just it, it comes in a little plastic case with some handles. You get three sets of these. Uh, they are flimsy, so if you don't like to keep your pencils in these, I would suggest to purchase one of them uh, larger pencil cases you can get. You can get them in 120, 150. And the first set, you've got your, obviously you've got your creams, you've got your yellows, oranges, Reds, purples, we're going into our pinks, blues, turquoises, greens, earthy tones, you've got your blacks, your greys. Now what I do like about these pencils is they do have a lot of various colours and I do like the variety of pinks and purples that they've got because they are my, they are my favourite colours. And as you can see, the cases are really flimsy. I'll stick that back there. So I would suggest maybe putting them into your own, own case. Now as for the pencils themselves, which is the quality of them, I'll get into in a minute. But as for the actual pencils, the only thing that I will say about these pencils is the only thing that I don't like as you can see it's you've got your logo there which I do like then you've got your closed barrel again I do like that I like the feel of the pencil I think they feel really light smooth in your hand they're not as heavy as a polychromo pe pencil now if you see I'm just gonna lift it up to the camera You've got a number there. There is no name, no coloured name for the pencils. So, in my opinion, that makes it a bit more difficult. Do you know when you're working and you want to just grab a pencil, you look for the name, so you want the right colour. It does make it a bit more difficult, in my opinion. But I've, what I've done is, when you, I've just swatched my pencils, and I have made a little swatch. Yeah, so I've got my swatch of the pencils here. And I've just numbered them and, 
uh, numbered them, swatched them. Now, you will notice that I've actually name, got names for these. Now, I, they have got a website what you can visit on Facebook, the Castle Art website. If you message the website and ask them for a chart with the names of the pencils, they will inbox it you yeah, and it will just make it 10 times easier so you can... So you can just name them in that order if you like. You don't have to, you can just number them. But yeah, you can name them and then you can just put your numbers at the side of the swatches. As you will see, my numbers are not in orders, order because I've just copied what they sent me from the uh, Castle Art group on Facebook, their page. So they will send you one. As for the pencils themselves, I do think that the these pencils are really pigmented. I think they are really soft and blendable. Now, to try them out, I've just used my Mythical Maidens and the Curious Creatures colouring book by Anna Lynn uh, when I first got these pe pencils. And this is the page what I've done with Castle Art. And as you can see, I find them to be very pigmented and the pencils, I found them to really blend well. I found them to be really smooth, uh, creamy when you lay it on the pen paper. Now, if you're going to compare it to a Prismacolor pencil, now, as when you're working with Prismacolor pencils, as you know, they, they get really crumbly when you're working with them and the, the nibs sometimes crumble off. And as as we all know, um, when you're sharpening your Prismacolor pencils, they can be really difficult to sharpen. Uh, with these, they are they are soft pencils. They're really soft. They are buttery, but they're not as soft as they're not as soft as Prismacolors. So I find that when I'm working with these, I get I get I get a nice blend. I get the smoothness still. But I find that they're a bit easier to sharpen. I find that my nibs, my nibs of the pencils not really breaking. I can get a better point to it. So I really do enjoy using the pencils. I think I've uh, another one what I did with these. Yeah, that's the other page from Woodland Fairies, Colouring Avon Special. And I used Pisma Colours. Um, for the skin and the rest is in the castle arts so i really do enjoy working with the castle arts and i can tell straight away that i'm going to be using them a lot to save my prismacolor pencils and there's that much of a variation of different colors and um, the only other thing that i would like is to be able to get a combination color combination chart from somewhere uh, so if anyone knows one please comment underneath uh, i'll definitely check it out and um, i'm going to have to start making one of my own until then uh, when i get a bit more time on my hands because i find if you've got um like i've got a polychromos color combination chart i think i got it from color with claire's website uh, which is just this, just something like this. I think it's, I do love having these. I think it's really handy because when I'm working, if, if I'm trying to pick my colours and then I just look at this chart and then I, and then it just, I know the colours what I'm going to use, it's going to blend together. I don't have to mess about blending it myself on a piece of paper to see if the combination of picks working. So I think it's just a lot easier when you're picking your uh, coloured pencils. Uh, so yeah, just a quick review today, and that's just my opinion on the 120 colour pencils by Castle Art Supplies. Uh, I would really recommend them. Um, I will be posting the link underneath for the Amazon uh, Amazon where I got them from, and definitely, definitely, if you do like using soft wax based pencils, if you like them to be smooth while you're working, then these pencils are for you. But if you're more into your uh, really hard pencils your oil based pencils and obviously you might want to be looking for some some different brand but that's my review today so i hope you've enjoyed the video and thank you for coming and watching